Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Math Record. Today we are going to solve this question. This question is for MIT Integration B 2020 Problem 2. And let's get started. Uh, the first thing that you may notice that this is just a very simple U sub question. We can either make our U to be e to the X or we can make our U to be e to the X plus 1. But in this video, I'm going to make our U to be e to the X. So the first thing, we have to differentiate both sides. So du is just e to the x dx. And then, but what's e to the x technically? Since we don't want, since we want to change everything into the u world and we don't want any e to the x. And also, we don't see anything other than this e to the x in our, integ in our integral. So we have to change it to u. So as you can see, e to the x is just um, u. So this is the same thing as du is equal to u times dx, and then we divide by u on both sides, du over u is dx. And then let's change all our x into u. So the first thing, so this one, so the first bound, it goes from x is 0 to x is infinity, and then we have to change that to u as well. So when you plug in 0 into e to the x, and then this is technically the same as e to the at zero. So e to the zero is just one. And then when you play infinity into x, so e to the infinity is also infinity. And then we are going to change our integral. So e to the x plus one is just u plus one and then times du over u. And then the next thing that we should do is to um, do partial fraction decomposition. And when we are going to, so we are going to separate this thing into two different fraction, fractions. The first one is just um, a over u plus 1, and the other one is just b over u. We don't know what a and b yet, but we'll figure out later. So how can we figure out a? So there's a faster method called the current method. Just ask yourself, what makes u plus 1 to be 0? Uh, what you value makes u plus 1 to be 0? As you may notice, u is just negative 1. And then 1 over plain negative one here, so one over negative one, so which means that it's negative one. And then ask yourself again, what makes this u to be zero? And then u is just u, u is just zero. And then we plug in zero here. One over zero plus one, which means that b is one. And then let's rewrite this thing again. du okay and then now we can finally start to integrate stuff and then so when you integrate negative 1 over u plus 1 this thing is just the same as negative natural law of absolute value of u plus 1 and then plus natural law of u and then we have to and then don't forget our bounds and then as you may remember from your pre-calc class this is the same as natural law of u over u plus 1 because we can combine two integral together I mean we can combine two natural log together if we have um if it's um adding and subtracting and then same thing for our bounds and then when you plug in infinity into u this is the same as um if you take the limit as u approaches infinity the natural law of u over u plus 1 is the same thing as natural law of 1 so natural law of 1 is just 0. So 0 minus when you play in 1 into here, so natural law of 1 over 1 plus 1, is, which is the same thing as natural law of 1 half. And then another logarithm fact, and you might remember that you can just bring the negative sign into the um, inside the parentheses, so which means that this is the same thing as natural law of 1 half raised to the negative 1. And then the negative one just from the negative sign. And then finally, when we simplify this thing, our final answer, which is just natural law of two. And here we are done.